A long time ago, my father drew a picture of an old-fashioned tool he knew of that was used to lift heavy objects by hand using nothing but a simple homemade device that's made out of some pretty common materials. Well, I built one, and guess what? It works, and today I'll show you how to build one and we'll lift this 500-pound log off the ground by hand. So keep watching. A block and tackle uses a system of pulleys and rope to multiply force, allowing one person to lift an object that's even heavier than themselves. I can't even wrap my mind around that. I don't know how it works. I know that it works. Nevertheless, a block and tackle is a very nice tool to have around and a simple one to operate. But there's actually another simple way to lift heavy objects that utilizes leverage. To make this simple leverage contraption, I started by attaching chain hooks to a pair of short chains. Now these chains, each one is about 18 inches long. That'll do just fine. Now I'm gonna need about a five to eight foot length of wood for the handle. I'm just gonna use the trunk of a small tree near a path I cut through the woods earlier in the year. That'll do fine. Now the handle's gotta be stout and strong and for sure not easy to break. That helps a lot. And since I'm going to be lifting a very heavy load of about a quarter of a ton, I'm going to go long with about an eight foot pole. Now keep in mind, the longer the pole is, the more leverage you'll get and the easier it is to lift the load. First, I drill three holes in the center of the pole. Each of these holes are about three inches apart. Then I take some heavy duty eye bolts and fit them into the three holes. Now the center eye bolt is reversed from the other two, that's important. Using quick links, which, man, those are handy, neat little inventions, I attach the chains with hooks to the two outside eye bolts and just tighten down by hand. That'll do just fine. Now, my simple leverage hoist is ready to operate. So, let's go try it out. Here we go. I'm gonna test it by lifting this 500 pound log off the ground by nothing but hand power. I'm going to hang the middle eye bolt of the hoist to a chain I've got fastened up high in this conveniently located and very crooked black cherry tree. I'm pretty sure it'll hold 500 pounds, but we're about to find out for sure here in a minute. Now, I'll grab onto the log here with a set of logging tongs. By the way, today's video is sponsored by Garvey, maker of these heavy duty log lifting tongs, which I'm quickly finding to be indispensable in so much of what I do around here. For one thing, hooking onto logs and skidding them with this eagle claw design, man, it's a breeze. They got these little teeth on the inside of the jaws here, which keep smaller diameter logs or poles from slipping through like with my old grabs. Since I don't have forks on a front end loader, I always find myself needing to lift a log evenly without it teeter tottering back and forth. Normal log tongs make this real difficult as you can obviously see here. It's kind of a pain and, you know, to be honest, it's a little bit embarrassing. But with this double grab configuration, a log can be lifted up evenly without having to fuss too much over the exact center of mass. This makes lifting logs onto my sawmill tracks way, way easier. Not to mention loading my trailer without, you know, denting or scraping the side rails or the fenders. Now Garvey carries different sizes of these four claw tongs. The 28 inch timber claw like what I have and a 36 inch set. Boy, you could be doing some big time logging with that one. To order your set of Garvey heavy duty log lifting tongs, go to Garvey, that's G-A-R-V-E-E dot -E com and find their agriculture and forestry section. And be sure to use the coupon code F-A-R-10 to get a 10% discount when you purchase. That's Garvey dot com. Be sure to find the Garvey link in the description below this video. So I've got the hoist hanging up in the tree. Then another short chain connects the tongs to one of the side hooks on the leverage hoist. And looks like we're ready to go. Now, by tilting the opposite side of the pole down, leverage is obtained because of the offset of the eye bolts. The loose chain can then be hooked below the first one. Then the opposite side of the pole is pulled down, tightening the second chain and, you know, loosening the first one, obviously. This process is repeated again and again until the log is lifted up to the desired height. I think you get the idea there. It is science, but you know, it's not rocket science or anything. And to tell you the truth, it would be a lot easier to have two people doing this, one to pull on the lever handle 
and the other to set the chain hooks. But, you know, we don't always have that luxury on the farm. And there we have it, a 500 pound log lifted off the ground with nothing but sheer mechanical advantage and human power. Not a lot of human power, more mechanical advantage. Now, if you used a makeshift tripod of three strong poles, a number of objects could be lifted up with a simple leverage hoist. I'll just leave that to your imagination there. And you know, this could have been how heavy stones were removed from fields in the old days by lifting them onto stone boats or slides and then hauling them away. And here's some good news for you. This simple device, or you know, a variation thereof, could also be used as a fence stretcher. Just take one of these handy little wire grip tools which connects the wire to the hoist and use leverage to pull the barbed wire fencing tight or, you know, whatever kind of fencing you're stretching. So, if you don't have a block and tackle handy and you need a heavy load lifted or you need to stretch some fence wire, a simple leverage hoist like this one will work just fine. If you liked what you've seen today on the show, you might also like my video on lifting heavy objects with an old-fashioned gin pole. Or you might want to take a look at some of my books, like Building an Old-Fashioned Pole Barn, or my tree identification book called Common Trees and Their Uses for the Small Farm or Homestead, which incidentally highlights what trees are good for what uses on the farm. I'll have a link for all those things in the description below. And remember to subscribe to the Farmhands Companion channel for more videos on the small farm or homestead. I'm Paul Mack. Thank you for watching, and I'll talk to you later.